Shakira, Celine Dion, even a bit of Bob Dylan. Pretty much anything you want, Pew Pew Jaw Thane can sing it. She's one of the leading exponents of a phenomenon that's dominated Burmese music for decades, the copy song. When I started singing, when I started my career, I have never known that uh, we are stealing the songs. The lyrics of a copy song are usually original, but the tune is pinched, often from a Western hit. We have never taught in our school curriculum any rights, intellectual property right or the copyright or the human right. We have, we have never heard about that. Behind every copy song is a copy song writer, and Mint Mo Ong is one of the best. We watch as he crafts new words for John Legend's hit, All of Me. In total, he's written more than 300 copy songs. As a Buddhist, I do feel bad about taking the music without asking, he says. But we don't make much money, so in a way, what we're doing is helping to promote Western music. In most of the world, you have to pay royalties if you want to make money from someone else's hard work. But not here. The Burmese artists writing and singing copy songs aren't doing anything illegal. The only copyright law here is an old British one from a hundred years ago. And it's aimed more at literature than music. For years there's been talk of a new copyright law that would bring Myanmar in line with international standards and also tackle rampant piracy. The intellectual property bill is currently on its 11th draft. So I ask Thas So from the Myanmar Music Association what's going on. That's a really simple answer because they don't want to do it. He tells me powerful groups with friends in parliament are making money from pirated music and copy songs. Darko's a principled but frustrated man. His band doesn't play copy songs and perhaps as a consequence it isn't having much commercial success. I mean, they've done, I think they've done enough of copy songs. I think it, this is the time they should start writing their own stuff. Overwhelmed by piracy and crowded out by the copies, the purists of Myanmar's music scene are struggling to be heard. Look what you've done. Jonah Fisher, BBC News, Yangon.